episode 35 of Clear Shots. I think I said 40-something 40, 40 last episode, and that is incorrect. Um, episode 35 of Clear Shots is brought to you by Pinecast.com, as always. Pinecast is an easy-to-use podcast hosting website that lets you post your show to the leading podcast platforms, including Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and more. Sign up for Pinecast today using the promo code R-63F8FB, and you'll get 40% off your first four months. If you've got a podcast or you're thinking about starting a podcast, there's no better place to do it than Pinecast.com. Again, visit Pinecast.com and use the code R-63F8FB for 40% off your first four months. Today, we had Graham back on the show. Uh, and I think we did about two hours, so I'll let you uh, jump right into this thing. Don't give them clear shot! 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 Do you ever? <laughs> I like I like when beer has directions on it. <laughs> Enjoy responsibly. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's on it. That's on all of them. The old <laughs> enjoy responsibly. The, the good old joy responsibly. Hell yeah! Right on. We're live. Are we live? We are live. Well, I guess we're as live as we're gonna be. <laughs> Sweet. Good to be back, boys. It's been a little while. How have you guys been? Uh, good. Nice. But nice. pretty good, yeah. January, yeah. February, our last podcast here. Yeah. Nice. I uh I bought a Chevy Impala since then. Um it's Word. been nice having wheels and having <clears throat> that freedom. It's been really cool. Um but I've just been hanging, grinding, and playing a whole lot of PUBG lately. Fuck yeah. Try to catch good music when I can, but it's been steady and I'm I'm ready for the transition into winter. Do you mm-hmm. play what do you play on PC? Uh, Xbox One, actually, so we should also play. Yeah. Sweet. Because uh, the full release is awesome. Yeah, the new map's pretty sweet. You spawn, and you, like, don't have to look too hard for good weapons. It's, like, it's it's small enough where, like, it's, like, you find shit quick, and you find people quick, but you also don't, like, it's not too long of a game. Yeah. Like, I feel like the, the big maps are long-ass games if you survive, and mm-hmm. that is just... Maybe 15 minutes. Yep. Which is cool. Even Like, a couple of times, I just couldn't find people, even on the smaller map, which is weird. Mm-hmm. Right on. Yeah, sometimes I just, like, don't really see too many people and survive, and I'm, like, in the last 20 before I know it, and it's like, oh, shit. That's, honestly, that's the way to go. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> just, like, fucking uh, do nothing <laughs> for the entire game and <laughs> stay how, alive. <clears throat> that's how Paul and I won our first game together. Hmm. We did, uh... Yeah, that's... I mean... We literally... Because I... Paul had to... Paul was in the middle of doing something. And we, I started the game. And he had to do something with Liz. And then I was fucked up. So I didn't really want to play either. And as soon as the circle got to, like, the second or third, way, like, circle, you know, and it shrinks yeah. down, there was, like, 40 people left, and Paul and I just went to this building and hid in a closet in a bathroom in another closet. Yeah, the, yeah, you know those buildings that's like it's a room and then it's a room and then it's a room and then it's a room. Yeah. Like so, we hid in the last room and, oh, and sat there for like fifteen twenty minutes, and then there was like eight people left. The circle closed right in where we were. Yeah, and I we mean, just killed everybody. And sometimes one. you just get lucky. <laughs> it was sometimes fucking hilarious. you end up like getting super lucky with the circle, and then you get you only need one kill to like yeah. win the game. <laughs> Yep. Which is hilarious because the guy you're going against probably has eight, and he's been <laughs> fucking just a savage. And you fucking pull up behind him with a pistol, one shot him. I've, I've got number two. I haven't won a game yet, but I'm really looking forward to when I do. Oh, it's so good, dude! dude when you so win good. solo, it's so crazy because you're like, I no one helped me. Like this was me camping the entire game and killing one person. So, fuck yeah! I think I've the highest. I've had like four kills when I won solo. That was the highest I've ever done. And the other time I won solo, I had like one kill, like two kills, I think. Sean and I had a hilarious game. We dropped in this one spot. A car spawned right where we were. So we drove this car to a building, looted the building, but kept all the doors open so mm-hmm. people would think that there were people like looting it. Yeah. And then 
Sean and I camped in a building directly across from it with rifles. <laughs> we ended up killing like two separate squads of people because they'd they'd run up, see the car, and then they would like disperse and try and find people and yeah. just we they would all run into our building all at once and just done. Yeah, it was so fucking. You funny. can do that, or just close all the doors and then they think it hasn't been looted, mm-hmm. and then they come at it and. But with a vehicle, you can't really hide that shit. Yeah. And we kept the lights on, too, so it made it look like we got out of the vehicle quick. (laughs) Ruin the tires. You're draining your battery, though. True. When you get back in there, it's not going to (laughs) start. There was one game. Who were you playing with? We were playing with Gary and this other guy. The It was probably Steel. Steel. Roy Steel. The whole Steelman. We all, the four of us all had buggies. (laughs) <laughs> we, we just drove our buggies I down roads. Clip from that. It just went eh, like all of our horns going for the entire game. <laughs> we all died all at once. I, miraculously. Yeah, we were out in the field, and then two of us got stuck together. <laughs> like literally, we were stuck together. Like the front ends of our fucking buggies were stuck. We both jumped out and then got murdered. That was the same game I put like five rounds into that one guy, and he didn't fucking die. Oh, because there was. <laughs> There's a glitch where, like, if you change your language to, like, Chinese and then restart the game and then you change it back to English, you get, like, everybody's blood is blue because in China they, like, have to censor it and shit. Oh, shit. (laughs) Because they have to, they can't show blood for some reason, so, uh, which is weird because they can still show it. It's just blue for some reason. Mm -hmm. But in the game, for some reason, you can glitch that out and have it be blue, which is cool because it's easier to see when you hit people. Nice. Like, it's easier to tell if you landed a shot, because mm-hmm. it's way fucking, it's blue as fuck. Like, it's <laughs> it's really fucking blue. Damn. And in that game, I remember seeing, because I have the clip still, and I remember seeing just blue spraying out of this guy like seven times, and then I still get shot once and die. That's how that game works. If you get sh- like a headshot, yeah, it's, it's nice. you have You have to, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yep. Unless they have like no armor on. <laughs> Oh yeah, I pre-ordered Red Dead Redemption too. I'm stoked about that. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. That'll be fun. It looks pretty in depth and pretty intense. Um, I'm nice. It's well, it's nice that they extended the release date because it sucks when people uh, rush video games. Yeah, I'm sure we've all had that happen yeah. one time or another. So I'm I excited. Think it's, it's a sign that like they know that it's not ready. <laughs> yep. I don't think I think people just like to get the game out because they're like, we set this date, we have to put it out now. Yep. It's not the way to go. Because then it comes out unfinished and people get pissed. And then no one plays it. And yep. we've seen games that come out with a horrible release and then no one ever goes back to them. Because even if they fix it, people are just like fed up with the fact that they put out a shit game at the beginning. Yep. What was that one where um, <clears throat> you played as the monster and everybody had to, it was like hunting you? Monster Evolve. Hunter? It was Evolve? Was that what it was called? Yeah, I think so. That game was pretty bad. That that came out like with a bad release, and then oh, that, that was all DLC. It was the microtransactions that. Yeah, but up. evidently it was like super good after like some. They did like some event where it was free. I think I have it, and it was like it, it, apparently it was way better. That's what everybody said. I still didn't like it though. It wasn't like I don't know. It wasn't my kind of game, I guess. I miss Left 4 Dead, dude. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was like the OG nice multiplayer zombie game. Yeah, it was a good sure. uh, co-op situation. I liked playing the fucking uh, the fucking mode where you play as like the like special infected, where you like are hunters and you fucking jump on people and shit, like you pounce on people. That was pretty sick. I think that was the second one, right? Was it in the second? You can do it in both. Oh, you can? Versus mode, yeah. The first one was overpowered because you could pounce from, like, the tops of buildings and instantly kill people, and that was hilarious. Dang. I didn't really like the second one too much. It was okay. It wasn't, like... Well, the second one came out, like, less than a year after the first one. They, like, cranked it out. I think the problem was, which is weird... The, the fact that there was more weapons is what kind of, like, made it not as good. <laughs> like, I feel like the shotgun was used, like, all the time in the first one. Like, and then there was the fucking rifle, the hunting rifle. That was so much fun to use. 
But they just they really should have just made a third one. Mm-hmm. I but miss they skate. don't do that. I play Skate Three a lot. That's that game's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. I know a lot of people still play Skate Three. Mm-hmm. So like EA has to see that. Like they have to see that people are still playing that and be like, uh Skate four. Maybe we should maybe we should drop a skate game. I should. Didn't they make Steep? Who made Steep? Oh, I don't man. know. Was it EA? I gotta get that game. I f- totally forgot about that. I tried playing... I think I played like a demo or something. <laughs> no, it was like a beta like shortly after E3 when they revealed it. And I don't know. I didn't... It felt The controls felt weird, but I didn't feel like getting used to it, really. That was the problem. <laughs> I used to play like the SSX games oh my and God. then like on the fucking PS2 and shit. It's tricky, 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 tricky. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> what a, yeah, dude. SSX was so good. Yeah. What was the other one where you could punch people? Cool Borders. Where that yeah, game? Yeah, Cool Borders. Who the fuck made Cool Borders? <laughs> Whatever happened to Cool Borders? <clears throat> That's such a 90s name for a game. I mean, it's still out. It's still out there somewhere. <laughs> you could probably go pick that shit up for $2 at a fucking EB Games or some shit. Does that even exist anymore? No, it's games. GameStop now. What about micro game? Game craze. Yeah, game craze. Game. Game cast. Speaking of some real life video game GTA shit. So my buddy showed me the video. It happened like a month ago. This guy in Seattle stole a plane. <laughs> uh, I forget, it was Richard. I forgot his last name. Like uh, Russell or, or something. Dawkins. But uh. If you listen to the audio tape of what he was talking with, with like the, the, uh, air traffic control, yeah, air traffic control, it is hilarious. It's so shitty. Like, again, like, shout out to his family. He's like telling him about it's his like, day and shit. It's, it's, it's rough. But he's like, yeah, I'm just going to try to do a barrel roll. And if that goes good, I'll just, uh, nose her down for the evening. And he actually did a barrel roll. Oh, I think I successfully. saw. Successfully. It's, hilarious yeah. did he crash it he uh he, he eventually crashed into an island i don't know if he was shot down or if he crashed i think he crashed but he had some like <clears throat> f-16s following him and but oh my gosh dude like literally what a, what a good guy oh no dude it's like it's he, he didn't hurt anybody or anything like that. I guess it, that's the it, way to go. He it, he did hurt the fucking plane, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, and the environment around him. And he, and he made it a note. He's like, no, dude, if I try to land, I'm going to hurt hurt some shit. So, like, he didn't he didn't do that. But he literally just, like, that's, like, the most extreme way to go out if you were to go. Just yeah. Like, yeah. He, I'm like, he like went out hard, but he, like, was nice about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, hopefully he was a... This will grease the wheels of the higher ups and make minimum wage a little better. He said that. Like, <laughs> really? it was fucking nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I don't think it worked. No. Nah, we should nah. start a Democratic Party for Richard Russell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I'm a registered Russell. Oh, I'm a registered Ru- uh, Russell Crab. Registered. Yeah. A rich, Part of the a Russ Party. Part of the Russ Party. Mm-hmm. Russell Wilson. You'd have to get a color for it, right? Because there's blue and there's there's purple. blue and red right now. The purple. independents are orange, right? Yeah, we could do purple for yeah, Russell. Yeah, you got to do purple. We can't do burnt orange, unfortunately. Mm. Nope. We just do burnt red. <clears throat> we could do burnt Reynolds. <laughs> burnt Chrysler. <laughs> Seth, can I buy a monster off you? I am fucking dozing. Yeah, six fifty. I don't have plus tax. I don't have fucking. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have fucking. Six fifty. I don't have fucking six eighty seven <laughs> on hand. I'll give you two bucks, <laughs> and I need it in an exact change. <laughs> Denomination. <laughs> oh man. I am fucking dozing. I had a cappuccino before I fucking left, and I'm. You should have got a frappuccino. Yeah. I need coconut water, dude. I don't think I have those. Needy. I'm just joking. I know how it goes, man. <laughs> you putting six fifty in the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nice. move. Those are those ten packs are what you gotta do. Cause how much is a ten pack? Oh my god, my head is spinning. I feel like it's like 
oh, 12 bucks or something. It's really not that bad, considering they're, what, fucking three fifty a piece <laughs> if you buy them individually? Yeah, the the cheapest I've ever found them is two for four at Burn Dairy. Dude, Red Bull is, like, super expensive, and it's not... It's they're in tiny little cans. Dude, like, Red Bull is the best though. It's great. But it's so good. It's in like these little cans and they do nothing for me really. They do not give me wings, I'll tell you that much. I like the flavored ones. The cranberry one's really good if you've tried that. I like cranberry juice, a lot of people don't, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's good. Dude, the higher it gives me that phlegm shit though in your like it makes your it gives you that uh that <laughs> kinda <laughs> kinda feeling, you know. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I brought this uh, is a $5 can of beer, Captain Lawrence Brewing Company, Powder Dreams. It's a IPA dry hopped with Citra Lupulin Powder and VIC Secret Hops, whatever that means. But oh. That was five bones? Five bones. I just chose it because the can looked cool. That's more than a monster. It's yeah, you got to start getting 10 packs of this. Oh, we're Old City had this, uh, this kind of beer called Money on Tap once. It was looking good. Let's try it out. I feel like Money. I could. Cheers, boys. It's a crime. So Good to be back. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a real glass. You guys are faking it. Ooh, it's good. It is good. I don't even really like IPAs that much. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. It's like fruity. Smooth, too. Yeah, it is. It's got like a beautiful orange to it. A tint. I'm a stout guy. Or a low roasted orange. Those low it's temp that, oranges. It's yeah, it's like a burnt orange kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's got that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it know, does. It's got that. You know. I mean, you're not lying. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think man. you'd be a good every beer time, critic. Every time every I take time. a sip of beer, my headache starts to go away. It makes me feel so happy. What's funny is like, <laughs> yeah. What's funny is like, I don't have a headache now. <sighs> like, and I had one before. So mm-hmm. like. Yeah, for those uh, we you didn't said that, and then yeah. I was like, "No, there's no way that's gonna work." And then actually, it's kind of gone. We uh, we hung Fruit out. Fly. Football started yesterday, so uh, I went hiking with my ladies, my good, my badass bitches. Your ladies? Yeah, just a couple of cool chicks I've been hanging out with and doing stuff. Multiple. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> went to the bluffs. <laughs> went to the bluffs yesterday. Went hiking. Mm-hmm. And uh, they they climbed up the fucking bluff. Yeah. I didn't because I weigh two hundred forty pounds. <laughs> so I walked up the you fucking climbed trail. Down it. I met them there. <laughs> but uh, so I came here and we got fucking trashed. That was probably the drunkest me and Seth have been together in a long time. I had four natty daddies. <laughs> I had four in natty son. daddies and like three shots of black velvet. I was sober. <laughs> Seth had I think six beers and most of that <laughs> like most of what's gone was all last night <laughs> yeah because we were fucking losing it was 20 to nothing and the Packers came back and, and Aaron Rodgers was injured <laughs> you know uh, that was like, I was like oh okay this game's over because he just destroyed his leg and then what the fuck like <clears throat> third quarter Rodgers comes back and comes like, they come back from a 20 nothing deficit it's not, guy's not even real dude <laughs> Mo- my dad told me he used to be a cop, and statistics are there. Most domestic local crimes happens when uh, a big ball games. Uh, football games when you're like the team loses the favorite. The <laughs> town is yeah. so shit. <laughs> I was <laughs> drinking even... more because they were losing. <laughs> no, yeah, I wouldn't uh, be surprised. That's America's pastime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, people get pissed. And on full moons, too, there's something weird about full moons to where um, most crimes are committed on, on full moons. It affects the waves a certain way and certain it has a different gravitational pull to where some people it affects them differently than others, I guess. People just get pissed because the moon, there's too much moon out. There's too much moon. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, hate when there's, I hate when there's a lot of moon. I, I like, farted, really I, st- I started to fart, and I was like, ah, oh, this might end badly, so I tried to, like, squeeze it out bit by bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. I have shat myself recently. Mm-hmm. My apologies here. Really? That's right, that's right. Yeah, it was a good, it was bad, Woo! no. 
I don't Ooh. remember the last time I shit myself. Uh, what the fuck was I doing? Be honest, with it was like sure. during the day too. That was the worst part. <laughs> so like, it's always during the day. Dude. It's never. <laughs> it's like I got home from work. It's got to be like at a time where it's visible. I got I got home from work and uh, immediately had like two or three drinks, and Naturally. then I took like a dab or two, and nice. then. Uh, Took a shower? No, I didn't. I yes, I did take a shower. That's that was the worst part about it was that I took a shower <laughs> and then I shat myself and I was sitting in my fucking chair. I was like on my computer and I just I felt it build up and I was like, oh, this is gonna be a mean fart. And then it was just <laughs> <laughs> it wanted it, out. Dude, it was so bad. It's one of those assassin shits. Yeah, so I got it. I took another shower. <sighs> so. <laughs> Because, yeah, you have to take another shower. Yeah, that I wasn't going to just sit there in my own shit. I mean, you could use baby wipes or something to get yourself going. Ugh. My last two years working for the man out at uh, in Westminster, Colorado, I worked for Ace Hardware, and I only called in sick one day, and that was because I showered, shit my pants, just like you said, mm-hmm. changed, and then waited an hour. I'm like, okay, I'm like, I'm settling down. I'll still go to work. Right as I'm leaving the door, it happens again. I'm like, guys, I'm I'm calling in today. So you shat yourself that. twice? Yeah, dude. Well, oh, it's like, no, well, no, because it's, it's like, like that's like awful. That. It's not like a shit. It's a it's like a, a little fart and yeah, 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 liquid. Yeah. Come, like a, just oh. a little liquid of those farts <laughs> oh. come out. And oh. I'm not risking that going to work with no change of clothes or yeah, anything yeah. like that. And they Fair totally enough. understood, but in my last two years' work, I haven't called You told them, like, verbatim that you were just sharding? I, I told them. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, I told okay. them the truth. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm an adult, and I still shit my pants. Yeah, they understand. Mm-hmm. They understand. <laughs> I have to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it was bothering me a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it was off kilter. <laughs> <laughs> For the people in the back, let's get it. <laughs> Oh my goodness! But yeah, dude, this whole year I've been working for Botify and stuff like that. I haven't. I mean, not to pat myself in the back, I haven't called in sick at all. I've actually went in for people that have been sick. So yeah, when I when I ask for a sick day, I better as hell get it. Yeah, that's what you got to do. <laughs> See, I learned. And then you don't. And then you just <laughs> fucking. You can't do anything about it. <laughs> God damn that's it! That's how it works. I just started going like at work. I started going in sick or hungover instead of calling in. So that way, when I do call in, they don't get mad. Yeah. Yep. Because they're like, well, he must be really fucking sick and or really fucking hungover if he's calling in right now. It's like, it doesn't matter how sick you are. If you call in, they don't believe you. Yeah. Like, that's just how it works. Yep. Dude, there was literally, there was a day, was it last year? Dude, the last year, the year before I had to call in because I was, like, coughing up blood and shitting blood. I had, like, <laughs> stuff going on with my stomach. That sucks. I had a really bad shit going on with my stomach, and I called in, and I came back, like, two or three days later, and everybody was pissed, and I was like, I was bleeding out of all my holes. What do you want me to do? If a girl said that, it would be ten times more intense. <laughs> Yeah, it's a different situation. All of them. All of them. <laughs> oh, I'm not a feminist. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm not offended. It's okay. <laughs> I've been browsing a uh, subreddit out. called Offensive Memes. Okay. It's, it's fucking so hilarious. bad. I'm on that one, too. I like yeah. surreal memes. That's a good one. Yeah. It's so funny, though, because they just don't give a fuck, and they just rip on whoever. You gotta be on, and it's so accepted there, too. You got to go on cringe <laughs> anarchy. It sounds not. It sounds bad. It's so stupid. <laughs> This IPA is pretty nice. It's like a nice sipping beer. That's what it is. It's mm-hmm. a sipping. Yeah, that's what the I in IPA stands for. Yeah, I'm I, gonna for sip. sip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what IPA stands for. Sip. <laughs> <laughs> they messed up a few of the letters. But yeah, yeah, just I mean, one they, of them. I mean, all the other letters were taken, so they had to <laughs> move it around a little bit. Oh, goodness. I fucking, after. I got to see what this show was called because like after you after you left there was this show on adult swim that because at this point it like on adult swim shit gets really weird like after a certain hour and i watched this fucking show and the guy from like good neighbor who used to do things with kyle the guy that the what the fuck is his name uh kyle 
not Kyle, but the other one. And wow. not Beck. There's Kyle Beck, and then there's the other guy, Nick. He Sam, Sammy Hagar was in this fucking thing, and it was weird as shit. It's called Dream Corp LLC. Oh, that show is awesome. Yeah, it's so fucking weird, and it's it's got I guess Stephen Merchant and uh, John Krasinski are like producers, so like the guys from The Office, the like UK and the US version, and then. Uh, it's got fucking Uncle Rico is Damn. the fucking, like, doctor guy or this scientist or whatever it is. That's hilarious. The whole show made no sense. Like, it didn't, and it was all, like, in this weird animation, like, cartoony animation. Like, it would show, like, there was live action sequences, but then there was, like, odd cartoon animation to to signify, like, the dream sequences and shit. And they'd put him into, like, dreams and study his dreams and shit. It was fucking weird as fuck. Damn. And I, I thought it was, like, I had never seen it. But that's, like, the shit that I like to see on Adult Swim. I wish that was just Adult Swim all the time. It was, like, obscure shows <clears> that, like... Like, off the air. Yeah. There was another one on after it, too, but I wasn't, like... I was too busy looking up what the fuck that show was to even pay attention to the next one. I like Mr. Pickles. That's a good show. <laughs> you ever watch Mr. Pickles? I've seen a few episodes, it's yeah. It's fucking weird. Satanic dog, it's always. I like how you pull up fucking offensive memes on... <laughs> on the fucking... I mean, is there one you got in mind, or... Are you just gonna... I'm just gonna go top all time. Oh. Top all time. What's the best offensive meme of all time? What's, what's, uh, what's going on here? I don't know. What's going on here? You do it. You're doing it. Can you pull up YouTube? Pull that up, Jamie. Oh. <laughs> Chromecast is falling apart. I was doing this yesterday, too. You know what? Fuck it. Can we pull up YouTube? Thanks, Google. <laughs> we will. It's George Soros, What's on your dude? list there, boy? I want to show you guys a video of that guy flying that plane around. The audio is pretty hilarious. And then seeing him do a barrel roll is actually pretty impressive. <laughs> do a barrel Not roll. Gonna that's another game. That, Not gonna lie. That's another game that needs to come back. Star Fox. I think it is coming back. Isn't it, it did it? come back. There's that one. Um, well, yeah, kind of. There's that one for the Switch that's coming out, but it's not Star like Star Fox. There's a game with Star Fox in it. Like he, you like can play Star Fox. Some I don't. Or Smash. Know. Smash Brothers. There's that too. Yeah. <laughs> They just need to make another one, but I don't know how well received it's going to be. Like, it's an on rails shooter. I don't like Star Fox. I don't think it's good. I it's like I liked sixty four a lot. Nope. I thought it was fucking dope. Bad. Did you ever beat it? Nope. It's because it's too hard. <laughs> Never played it. <laughs> Give it a chance. Give it a chance. So what's up with the Chromecast? I was doing this. I've played it so many times. It's easy as fuck. It should. It should be. It's on right now. Yeah, it's not working. Well, you gotta Sorry. connect it. Connect. Connect. Why don't you try connecting it there? I think it's George Soros. It's all right. That's Ant- okay. Antifa is behind it all. <laughs> I blame the parents. I mean, you, I could just reboot the Chromecast. I mean, yeah. You're closer than I am. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't need to. I can just... Connect? Do it. So right here. Sick of this place. Manually. How would you do that? Google Home, dude. Not like, let me do that. Google, you don't literally Google the word home, but you uh, use Google Home. Powder dreams. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite gun to use in uh, PUBG, Graham? Ooh, that's a good one, actually. Fucking easily hey. the M4. Well, M4 is good. I personally the like the AK-47 and the SCAR, yeah. Yeah. The new guns, though, the snipers are pretty fucking sweet. Um... It's not the QBZ, it's the, the three other three later. QBC? Letter. QBC, yeah. The Martha Stewart gun. Yes. Yes. Uh, there's... I don't know, I'm not that great with some of the snipers. Mm-hmm. Especially the Car 98 where you have to fucking pump yep. it every time. Yep. That's a powerful shot, though. What's it, the cool. one that's uh, semi-auto? It's cool. They I like have, the, v- the VSS is my favorite. They that's have cool. different rounds that do more damage than others. That's badass. Yeah. 
There's a lot of people don't like the Mini 14, but I like it because it's mm-hmm. almost like a, it's almost like an, a like single a, shot like a AR, like a DMR and yeah. fucking Halo or something. But it it does a lot of damage. Yep, that's a lot of damage. It's a, it's considered a sniper though. Mm. I don't know. S cool. or what's what is it, SVS or something the like SKS. that? SKS. Yeah, SKS. Yes, that, that one's dope because that one's like just it's semi-auto, but you you it has a ton of range. And it has a ton of damage, too. And the clip is big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or the magazine, sorry. Because I know for a fact that I'm going to miss. <laughs> like, I'm going to miss, like, three shots before I hit them. The VSS is fun because it uses 9mm. <laughs> and it comes with a scope built in. Oh, and yeah, it's that's silenced. Right. It's the best of all the worlds. Yeah, nice. all of them. I don't come oh. across that gun that often. I think when I do, I just pass it up, though. When you do, you give it to me every time. <laughs> Every time I end up with it. I like to get a long range and then an automatic as my side, and I usually I usually run around with my <laughs> automatic. <laughs> no, I was already playing. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. I run around with my automatic, and I have my sniper on my back, so when I see movement, I can creep up on some people. Yeah. Yeah, a lot strategy. of people say to drop your backpack when you get to the end of the game so that there's people nothing sticking up. True. Because you don't need anything at the end. Good point. There he is. Now this guy. So how the fuck did he steal this plane anyway? He was working <laughs> uh, uh, at the airport, and, fucking... and to work at this at airports, you have to go through mad background checks and through security checks and all that stuff like that. He passed all of them in just like twenty. Well, that shit doesn't work, I guess, because a lot of people with guns are still shooting people anyway. So Dude. obviously, them background checks ain't doing shit. <laughs> But he did a fucking barrel roll, man. Like some GTA shit. And like, pi- my buddy was telling me pilots actually like drove by the island. He crashed on, saluted him because the, like the his maneuvers that he did were just so unheard of and pretty gnarly. He has no experience. Didn't he, use the, he, have, he has to have so didn't he used experience to play does flight he have? sims? Was it if you, flight if you, simulators? If you bring up the audio, um, he's like, yeah, I, I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm losing gas real quick, but I've played video games before. Like, literally, he said this. <laughs> That's and it's hilarious. Like, Holy fuck. And people That's... say video games don't. <laughs> don't. Yeah, didn't he used to play flight sims? I thought that's what it was. He would play like. Yeah, I used to play that. I used to play you the fucking play ones sims? No. on the computer. Well, I did it at a museum once. But. Yeah, this. I Like, it's so weird. He has no experience, and then he just fucking. It's beginner's luck. <laughs> well, he played a lot <laughs> of flight also, sims. It's also Ender's luck, too, because he's. <laughs> <laughs> Ender's game. <laughs> I, don't, I love how, like, uh, casually he's talking to him. Yeah. Now, if this were a tan-colored gentleman, or if there were people on this planet, it would be taking a totally different... <laughs> yeah. Totally different approach. <laughs> Shoot that shit down. Shoot it down. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. headed for that school. <laughs> They probably would. I don't know why they didn't just shoot him down <laughs> to begin with. Just one fucking shot, <laughs> put him out of the. Well, like he, they're telling him to land. He's like, "No, nah, dude, I'm gonna fuck shit up if I try to land there." Like, I love how he's in control. Like, <laughs> I know he basically. Well, because in, they want the plane back. <laughs> like, yeah, they do. They're like, I think oh, that's "You're just the... gonna, you're just borrowing this, right?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "I want to know how to." Make the cockpit like pressurized because I'm getting lightheaded in here. <laughs> He's like, uh, I gotta stop looking at the fuel because it's going down quick. <laughs> we played some video. I've played some video games before. <laughs> The fuck? It's so weird. Like, I guess... It's such a weird, like, uh... Minimum wage for chocolate up to that. Maybe we'll grease the gears a little bit for the higher-ups. Damn, dude. 
<laughs> Pour one out for the, for the homie. Classic Andrew. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm a white guy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's so crazy that he decided to even do this. But he also is like he's relaxed about it. He knew what he was getting into. He came to terms with what was going to happen. So. He, I feel like this is like American Psycho. Yeah. <laughs> like this is the this dude's a fucking sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to hurt anyone else though. Like that's good. He's just he's going for a joyride, saw some beautiful shit, and before he died, and fuck man, that's it's it's half admirable. I'm not gonna lie, but it's I mean no one should ever do that to themselves. Especially yeah. their family and all that. It's uh, it's nuts, dude. But yeah, later on he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna do a barrel roll, and if that goes well, I'll just nose her down for the night. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what you do. I mean, you might as well fucking try every maneuver in the book. Yeah, <laughs> you're going down with the thing anyway. As Joey Diaz would say, if you're walking on his ice on ice, you might as well dance. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's probably the way to go. At shit, least he man. didn't die in a hospital bed or some shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> he died on a fucking, doing a barrel roll in a fucking... <laughs> I'm gonna do a barrel roll. <laughs> oh, fuck. Man. Oh, yeah, dude. Sweet. I don't think enough people do that shit. They don't go out in style. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you got a point. You know, you gotta go out looking cool. Mm-hmm. You got a point. <laughs> oh man! Oh yeah! And that's how you get your name out there. And then you don't, <laughs> then you don't know that your name's out there because you're dead. Then your records will sell, and you'll make so much money. So people like, just fake like their the deaths to make money. Yeah, uh, I mean it's tragic about Mac Miller, but conspiracy theory. He's, he's not. He's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> See, I never listened to Mac Miller. Me either, dude. He came to Swiggle one year for uh, the Bridge Street Run, like to. Oh, have that's where kids, I've heard of him. A uh, Swiggle Ozfest or whatever to not have people go to the Bridge Street Run, but they still went in anyway. Yeah, that's right. I remember seeing that. Oh, you performed at the college? Yeah. 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 Yo, it was my first time working Bridge Street <laughs> Run bot- at Botified, and we drank Jack Daniels just so we can deal with drunk people. Like, if we went at it sober, it would have been hell. Really? Just dealing with so many drunk college kids in white shirts. Yeah. It's got to be bad out there. Dude, I can't imagine working at Cam's. Fuck, Cam's. That place gets fucking destroyed. Two, three in the morning, dealing with those type of people. Have to clean up, like, puke and shit. Yeah. People passing out on tables. Fuck that, dude. That's why Franco was so hard. Because he, like, <laughs> fucking dealt with that every day. Franco? Oh, my God, dude. Fuck so, ever happened to Franco's? So, funny story. I don't think it he, exists. He didn't pay one of his water bills or something like that. And one of the dude, one someone, like a landlord around a circle, bought the building for the for the price of the bill he didn't pay, which is, like, a water bill for 250 bucks. And Glenn and Miranda, who I work with, saw this whole thing happen. And they were outside... Um, Franco was yelling at some dude and go, this, he just yelling, wicked loud, this guy fucked me for 250 bucks. This guy fucked me. And everyone, everyone's like looking at Sarah and the guy's like, come on, Franco, chill out, blah, blah, blah. And Franco like breaks in the building and is just pulling out chairs and tables and shit and throwing whatever he can in his car. <laughs> and he almost hits the dude that bought the building with his car. Like, what comes up within inches of him. But he's like, this guy fucked me for $250. Oh, poor Franco, dude. In an Italian wicked coked out voice. <laughs> he, he, he's come he used to come in all the time buy cigarettes and I could smell a straight ether on him. Just okay. <laughs> the I, fuck is ether? Well the uh, chemical they use to extract and synthesize cocaine. Yeah, he um, was an he was an ether knot. Ether knot would say. <laughs> look, at the, look at the head on that poor. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> well done. Creamy beige. <laughs> 
<laughs> Burnt amber. <laughs> yeah, Franco was talking about how he was going to open up another place down on Water Street. Old slices and all that shit. Something. Yeah. I mean, it would sell. He would have had a good business model. Mm-hmm. So where is he now? Who knows? He's probably in Mexico or... I don't know, dude. I think <laughs> he's probably still in town, just not doing anything. The back of his building, if you go into the parking lot in the back, looks like, like a... Like when you go to Walmart and you see a woman with a fupa, that's what his building looks like. It's like literally the bottom just like worm and it's brick <laughs> just fucking hangs and it's like, oh my god. What? There's like, there's little fences around because I didn't even know there was up. a back. <laughs> so was all there. those buildings on Bridge Street, I was like, I, I thought they were just 2D. They're like, <laughs> like, like, I didn't know there was a back on any of those. Oh, fuck me, man. <laughs> <laughs> but Maria's too. Like we saw the some of their like buildings actually curving out, coming out. So we, my boss called code enforcement, and there's fences around the wall now too. <laughs> it's like holy shit! Yikes! Thing was in good not shape. as bad as that Cahill building that they remodeled. That building looked way. Is that the one on the water? Yeah, yeah. That thing was literally sliding into the water. <laughs> That it's like, oh, it's a historical building. We can't destroy it. Oh, the it. Coleman building? That's what it is. Yeah, sorry. You're good. Yeah, yeah, the yeah Coleman that building. one's fun. It was, it was literally like, I mean, I guess you, might, you the only thing you can do is fix it. Are they still fixing it? Because it's going to fall into the water. <laughs> yeah. You know? They fixed it, um, but I don't know what they're doing with the building. You remember where fucking not... What was the one Kathmandu or some shit? Right next to uh, used Old to be City, right yeah. when you get across the bridge. Yep, that building is just Old City. gone. Yeah. Like it's pretty much it's literally when you look at it, it's so funny because when you look at it from the other side of the bridge, like the windows are like this, and like they're <laughs> they're all just morphed. I'm surprised they haven't gotten hassled yet or anything. Larry's a hard ass though, so. I'll be surprised if that does happen. I met Larry for the first time ever. The other he's a day. he's a character, dude. I thought he was a homeless guy, <laughs> dude. He was wearing a sweatshirt that was way too big, yep. covered in stains, and then he was wearing like windbreaker pants and flip flops, and he had this mangy looking dog with him, yep. and he had long greasy hair, and he was just asking all these people at the bar. He was talking to like me and these two old dudes about like what beer we like. So I'm talking to him. And, uh, you know, oh, you know, he goes, yeah, they got rid of Guinness here. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. I go, the stout they had to replace it. It's a good stout. He's like, oh, what are you drinking? I go, I'm having an old fashioned. I go, I like my bourbon. And so we're talking. And then he's like, all right, I got to go make some moves. And he leaves. And Chelsea Point here was bartending. And I look at him like, what the fuck was that? How did you, why did you not kick that guy out? That guy wasn't even buying anything. He was in here fucking freaking everybody out. She goes, that's Larry. I'm like, no. no. <laughs> No. Make so some I, go out, I go outside. I go outside. You know he's up to something when he says make some moves. Yeah, I go outside and I light a cigarette and I'm <laughs> watching him. And he's just fucking talking to anybody that's on Water Street. It's like, yeah, it's my dog. <laughs> like, he's just fucking. <laughs> Working for him was a trip, dude. He's, uh. he's a good guy, but I legitimately thought he was homeless. <laughs> like, I thought it was just a homeless dude sitting at the bar asking people. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck man yeah some people just have the homeless vibe you know like they have like the homeless look yeah even if they had a million dollars still look yeah, the same way look like Keanu Reeves <laughs> yeah I mean some people want to look homeless it's kind of a cool it's kind of a cool like carefree <laughs> style you know hmm. <laughs> I'd like to be that homeless guy from Tony Hawk oh yeah which one Tony I want to be the homeless guy <laughs> from Aqua Teen Hunger Force <laughs> Where he's like always pointing and shit, and he's got like one eye bigger than the other. <laughs> they kill him every episode yeah. what he's in. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking. I haven't watched that show in a while. Me either, dude. It's been a minute since I've seen that. First, my favorite quote from that show was like they were playing some song. It was an annoying pop song, Britney Spears or some shit. One guy comes out and he goes. Oh my god, the only way that song's stuck in my head, and the only way to get it out is with a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I love how in every episode they like introduce a new character. <laughs> like yeah. basically every episode. <laughs> I like the episode with uh where they all get together. Like all the villains get together on the moon. <laughs> they That's all fucking similar. die. Oh yeah. The Moon Knights are classic. They're though. so good. Yeah, press it up against the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh fuck uh, 
the episode with with mini with mini shake ezekiel yeah that was great too voiced by pat and oswald <laughs> is that who did that yeah <laughs> that was a good episode and you can't i mean the hand banana one's great the oh, fucking God. i like the one with the bible the bible fruit one that one is that fucking... one's so good <laughs> get the liquor faster <laughs> 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 Words to live by. Uh. <laughs> the drugs are in the cup. The cup has the drugs. <laughs> oh my god! The one with the when the evil villains get together and they're trying to come up with a name and they all have the ballots. The fucking yeah. brownie monsters that only click. They're like who the fuck tried to name our group? Click 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 <laughs> click 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 click. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. one of the best shows Adult Swim's ever had. Yeah, it is. It really is. And it's I, perfect because the episodes are only like 10 minutes long. Yeah. It's so weird watching it on like Hulu or something because it fucks with like the way it, Hulu works. The flow. Yeah. The flow like you can't like do it. Like it's. Because uh, Hulu goes even on. With, yeah, but like it, I don't, it's weird because it like doesn't remember that I watched the whole episode. Like, every episode, like, after you watch it all the way through and then you go back through, it, like, starts with, like, two minutes left. Yeah. And then watch, you see the end of every episode if you just let it autoplay. <laughs> Damn, it's just, my like, favorite, it's a refresher uh, course. My favorite shows were, like, Robot Chicken and Off the Air. Oh. Watch Off the Air when I was, like, tripping and fucking, I just spent, like, two or three hours and with two other dudes just laughing, rolling around on the carpet because I couldn't stop. And it was... Yeah, that's a cool it, show. It's it got too much. Fucking, it got too much at some point. But. Yeah, it gets... I think the problem is, like, those kind of shows are, like, better when no one really knows about them. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> and I then like as it. soon as people know about them, they start, carry, like, getting carried away. This guy. This guy works for Off the Air. This thing? This... this <clears throat> you ever see this? No. His tail's weird, though. (laughs) (laughs) Some of the animation's really cool, though. (laughs) It's so fucking creepy. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what's going on there. They're helicopters now. They've evolved. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't end. Off the air, what's the guy that does the, sh- the stop motion stuff? You ever see that where he does the stop motion stuff with random shit, but he makes it look like food? No, I haven't. Um, I don't know if I want to. It's really cool. Oh, okay. He makes it look like food. Yeah. Was he use Play Doh or some shit? Yeah. P E S. That's what his name is. Pez? Pez. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> Western Spaghetti. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah. This is cool as fuck. It's uh, it's actually kind of crazy how how it actually kind of like looks good. Yeah, <laughs> like I kind of want to eat this shit. I mean, he just broke that Rubik's cube. I kind of want to eat that Rubik's cube right now. This kind of shit, dude. I could sit here and watch this guy's videos for fucking hours. <laughs> Bubble wrap. <laughs> It's a, it's like a fucking soup or some shit. He's making spaghetti. <laughs> it almost makes you feel like you could do that. Just do that with a dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> and that. Oh my god, that's funny. There it is. 
There's the spaghetti. There's the spaghetti. There she blows. There she blows. <laughs> the yarn. I feel it. <laughs> like I, it almost looks like uh, I'd eat it. <laughs> yeah, this shit's nuts, dude. He made it look appetizing. Off the air was got me into a bunch of weird shit. It's mm-hmm. fucking cool. That's mm-hmm. a that's a good show. I agree. I agree. It really uh, expands creativity. Like mm-hmm. you're like, whoa. I think, like I said, it's one of those things. Like when they get, it's one of those shows that like has to be just. Obscure. Unknown and has to yeah. only be on at four in the morning. Yeah, like, and I remember seeing it, and I think the name off the air is what like makes it so like cryptic too. At the same time, because you look at the guide, I I remember that's how I saw it. I, like when I was scrolling through, I looked at the fucking guide. It said off the air. I was like, oh okay, there's nothing on. Like there's literally nothing on TV. Mm-hmm. And I go to it. I'm like, it's Adult Swim, so something has to be on. Mm-hmm. And then that shit was on. <laughs> Eric Andre too is like the more popular it got, the shittier it got. Yeah, yeah. It's it's you get you. It's even with Jackass, like they had to do more shit to cover themselves up because mm-hmm. people knew who the fuck they were, and that was the whole show was like being candid and fucking doing shit. Like, mm-hmm. good there's, point. There's a couple of shows like that, but it's that's. I think this the Sasha Baron Cohen show is going to do that same thing. It's like one of those things. It's only gonna last for a little while. People will start catching on to it. Mm-hmm. But that's like you kind of know what you're getting into when you get into that show, that kind of show. Like you know that that shit ain't gonna last long, mm-hmm. <laughs> unless you're cons- unless you're wearing a disguise in every <laughs> every fucking thing, and that's expensive as fuck. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Nathan for you was the one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad he only does a season every few years. Yeah, he. I think he. People know. I think people know who he is, but I don't think enough people know who he is. He's got. Like, a, he's not like, very recognizable. Yeah. He does look like a normal, like just kind of a normal white dude. Yeah. You've seen that show, right? I have not actually. Oh my god, that show is. Gotta check that out. That show is pure. That show is just too good. <laughs> It's it's kind of weird, like it blurs the lines between like what is what is real and what isn't. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't really tell like if he's if some of it's like just manufactured for the show, or if it's all like legit. There was a little bit of it. <clears throat> the I, there was somebody that did an AMA about it. Um, you can't really. T- I mean, the only person that knows is him, you know, or in the fucking crew. But it's just they get such weird people and they get people to do such weird things and to agree to such weird things that it seems like it's not there's no way that shit could happen. That's a trip. He his idea is like what it is is he goes around to like these struggling businesses and gives them like wicked bad ideas cuz like he he's like a business major. And he, like, goes around to the businesses and fucking tries to help them out. But he gives them horrible ideas that, like, most of the time don't work. <laughs> or they do work, but in, like, the most convoluted way. <laughs> oh, fucking It's man. fucking great. That's hilarious. It's just a strange concept because you don't know how much of the, like, if the business is real. Like, you don't know, like, <laughs> if he actually did any of this or if it was all just a show. Mm-hmm. But from what I've heard, a lot of it is real. Yeah, I I can't find the <clears throat> AMA on Reddit, but the you know the the episode where they have the guy tightrope walk. Yeah, and he has the bl- the black yeah, girlfriend. And he, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and Nathan does the walk for him. Yeah. Learns all of learns how to tightrope walk. <laughs> yeah, just to help this kid out. Like, <laughs> uh, she she was talking about how she knew that uh or she didn't know that Nathan was wearing a mask. She thought it was the really that guy. Yeah. But she thought he had like something wrong with him. <laughs> like <laughs> like a disease or something where his face was fucked up. <laughs> and then uh there's the one where they do the smoking aloud or no smoking aloud or whatever. Yeah. That one was real. That was a hundred percent real. Really? That yeah. was the one where they are in the bar and they, they turn reenact it into the a... bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Into a theater. <laughs> They turn it into a fucking show. 
Maybe you should watch that show. Do you have Hulu? I only have Netflix. Mm. I should get Hulu. Yeah. I think there's some of it on YouTube. Yeah, they have the highlights, like the movement. Yeah. <laughs> that was You're cool for too. a treat, dude. That show is so good. It's produced by Tim and Eric, too. So. Oh, okay. It's like their, comp- their uh, like sister company or whatever they use. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> they do a bunch of stuff, but... I- Tim was talking on H3 about how he doesn't have too much input on a lot of those things. It's really? just They kind of just have... It's just like a... Their tagline. Basically, what it is is the same producers that do all the shows. So, like, I don't know that... He, he said they really don't do much with, like, Nathan For You or anything like that. But the shows have, like, similar concepts because... And same styles of comedy because... Yeah, because it's all the same... It's, it's yeah, mostly shows. the same group of, like, uh, like crew... Main crew members. Mm-hmm. They did like John Benjamin has a van and that show was fucking couple weird. of shows. They do, they do a whole. I think there's a like maybe five shows or at least that they're doing. Don't they now. do Eric Andre? They do Eric Andre, yeah. But yeah, I think he, his interview on H three was really good because it wasn't he wasn't in character like for once like he was actually talking as Tim Heidecker and not fucking. Decker <laughs> <laughs> or Dakar, <laughs> dude. The um, the fucking the interview they did about their book. Remember that the Zone Theory book? Yeah. The half hour <laughs> interview that they did on the fucking news was yeah. so fucking weird. Because Tim and Eric were like in character, and nobody knew that. Like they didn't. They knew that they were weird guys, but they thought that you know they were just weird on camera. But yeah. then they acted so fucking absurd during this interview. Yeah. Did you, did you ever see the one where they, he was on, uh, I think it was, what, he was on one of the late nights. They were on one of the late nights. Oh, it was Colbert. Colbert. <laughs> yeah. That was hilarious. Maybe. When they revealed they came they were out doing with them. the clown suits. Oh, no. <laughs> they came out with clown suits and the whole, like, <laughs> the whole thing was like Tim came out and he was like talking about how he just got divorced and he was depressed and how they both have to wear clown suits all the time to make him feel better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what time are we at right now? Uh, 56 ish. Right on, right on. We're doing good, boys. We're going to keep up the we're pace. Here. Now we're showing advertisements on the podcast. <laughs> Go to Chili's. Go waste them with your boys at Chili's. Make reservations. <laughs> this is so fucking good. <laughs> I love how most of the audience probably doesn't know who these guys are. No chance. <laughs> Acknowledge it at all that they're wearing clowns. <laughs> treating it i've tried doing meditation i've tried doing lots of diet therapy and all sorts of stuff to handle it and when it comes down to it the one thing in in this whole world that gives me any kind of joy is clowning around my best friend eric wareheim who's here with me tonight (laughs) isn't that something (laughs) (laughs) and and when i feel blue he knows what to do try it he gives me a tickle watch this Do you, uh, you get as much out of this as he does? Uh, you enjoy this? Well, I, uh, I love my friend. I want him to feel good. Um, but we've been doing this going on three <laughs> weeks now. And it's, uh, it's getting to the point uh, dressing up every day is, is a bit much. And I hope we can get over the divorce. And... It's, not, it's not too much, in my opinion. I'm enjoying every minute of it because it's fun. Everyone loves a clown, right? I think we... <laughs> <laughs> we love clowns. Wow. Oh, we're 
having fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you guys need to be working on like oh, actual yeah. clown work, like the clown show or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean, he's sort of not into it, okay, but <laughs> we're tr- basically developing a Tim and Eric's clown town. Tim and Eric's clown town. Clown town. Clown town. Clown town. <laughs> is it real? <laughs> is that real? <laughs> I don't think so. Probably, I mean, this is probably theater right here. That, in a way, but this is sort of um, like sort of next level. This will be one of those shows that we eventually tour and take around the world and everything. And it's a beautiful show because it mixes sort of the mirth and the wonder and sort of the excitement of clowning around with... True, um, you know, warning for, for kids of how to deal with, the, with divorce and how to. Uh, All right, we're gonna watch this. But <laughs> <laughs> then we'll, then we'll, uh, we'll like, I'll put the link in the description so people can watch it. <laughs> what in the fuck? That was actually pretty pretty decent. The, is he really going through a divorce though? Probably. No, he made it all up. Oh shit. <laughs> Clear Shots is available on any of your favorite podcast platforms. ClearShotsPodcast.com is the best place to find all of our social media links. You can find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at ClearShotsPod. Thank you for listening, and we will see you next time.